Taylor Swift splurges $40 million on her legs, and we'll find out why. She had also splurged on crazier things like two identical Dassault Falcon jets, which cost $45 million each, and she paid $30 million for the historic Samuel Goldwyn Mansion located in Beverly Hills. So here are 14 expensive things Taylor Swift spends her money on. Buckle up for another journey into luxury. Number 14, Feline Friends. Taylor loves cats. Not your average like and love for cats, but I mean something that can be on the level of a need. She has proven to be a cat connoisseur on many occasions, and it is truly remarkable to see her turn into a loving, doting person when it comes to cats. She lives with two Scottish folds named Olivia Benson and Meredith Grey. These rare cats are her life, as she claims. These cats usually cost like $1,500 each, and they're hard to come by. She also owns a rag doll that costs at least $500. Number 13, Oscar de la Renta Collection. As a celebrity, style is extremely important and Taylor's wardrobe is proof of that. Her wardrobe has an extensive collection of high-end designer dresses and outfits. She has an interesting piece, which is the Oscar de la Renta Lambo Tule dress, which she wore in her Blank Space music video. This dress cost a whopping $6,940. She also wore a Zimmerman dress in her Willow music video, which cost $2,600. $50. She paired the dress with a pair of $8,950 pearl earrings. She also owns exclusive items like a $1,237 Christian Lobotin backpack. She also sports luxury brands like Ellie Saab, Versace, and Jay Mandel. If we ever get the opportunity to get a tour of Taylor's home, we're spending some time in her closet. Number 12, Steinway Sonata. When talking to Vanity Fair, Taylor Swift revealed that she has an instrument that she really holds close to her heart. She owns a restored 1930 Steinway piano, which is a very noteworthy investment in her opinion. A regular piano costs around $3,000 to $30,000, but Taylor's hit $43,500. Since music is a huge part of her life, it makes sense that she casually has a $43,000 piano in her home. Number 11, Toyota Sequoia. Taylor's SUV is probably a statement piece that one would expect from a celebrity, and she does enjoy having this huge SUV. Her jet black Toyota Sequoia has a 381 horsepower and can seat up to eight people. It can also reach a top speed of 175 kilometers per hour for the price of $650,000. This car is a menacing and intimidating presence on the road. Combining luxury plus efficiency is the trademark you would definitely expect a woman like Taylor to look for. Number 10, Porsche 911 Turbo. Let's face it, everyone loves sports cars. Whether you're a legendary music icon or a banker, sports cars will always turn heads. It's no surprise that Taylor owns one of them, besides music and cats. Taylor has also spoken about her love for cars. The Porsche 911 Turbo is a two-door, four-wheel drive, sleek statement that you can't help but take a look at twice. This car boasts an impressive 443 horsepower engine and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. Embodying elegance, comfort, and speed in one, we get why Taylor needs the $100,000 car. A transport mode representing the feeling her music gives you, making your heat go fast. Number 9, Audi R8. Taylor owns an Audi R8, which is another statement piece that costs $180,000 and for good reason, too. The car's exclusive features include heated seats, ambient LED lights, as well as massaging seats. Careful not to fall asleep while driving, though. The interior of the car is lined with leather of the finest type. The car has an outstanding 600-horsepower engine and can hit a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. It is, interestingly, a convertible as well, and the comfort of this car is undeniable. Hey, if you have $200,000 to spend on a car as a young person, you should get this Audi R8. Number 8, Nashville Greek Revival Estate. The musical city of Nashville is a befitting location for a musical genius like Taylor to call her home, so that's exactly what she does. Her prized real estate is the 1934 Greek Revival Estate, which she acquired in 2011. The property spans 5,600 square feet and a guest house, which spans 2,000 feet. The home has a stunning swimming pool and has been rumored to have a recording studio as well. She reportedly paid $2.5 million for this title 
timeless piece of architecture before redecorating it to fit Taylor State. The home, located in Northumberland Estate, has been tailored to look contemporary and modern enough without taking away the history in its walls. This Tennessee home is as luxurious and interesting as every bit of content we have on this channel. And you'll be missing out on a lot if you aren't subscribed to us, you know? Number 7. Tribeca Townhouses and Condo Taylor is fast becoming the queen of Tribeca with her five-bedroom townhouse located on Franklin Street. She got the townhouse in 2014 for the price of $18 million from the director of The Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson. And it didn't take long for her to buy the adjacent townhouse for another $18 million. She then masterfully combined the two properties and made them into one with the help of architect Leopoldo Rosati. She converted both homes into a joint 8,309 square foot mini palace. The conjoined condo is 10 bedrooms and is currently valued at $23.5 million. This was her welcome to New York, and we must say, that's a pretty good welcome. Number 6. Watch Hill House, Rhode Island This seaside estate in Rhode Island is another one of Taylor's impressive buys, which spans 12,000 square feet. The mansion and collection of buildings overlook a 700-foot shoreline and provides a breathtaking view of the sea. She paid a sum of $17.75 million in 2013 for the mansion, upgrading her portfolio. She knew how to get her hands on this home by convincing the Harkness family to sell it to her. The home was built in 1930 and has eight bedrooms, a large pool, eight fireplaces, and a dining table that seats eight people. If you could fully enjoy amazing sea and tropical views, paying almost $18 million is good, right? Number 5. Tribeca Townhouse Swift's urban home in Tribeca is her second high luxury purchase in Manhattan. She got the 100-year-old townhouse in 2014, and it has a total of five floors. The townhouse has a full home theater, a functional gym, a steam bath, a bar, as well as a beautifully decorated guest suite. That's understandable considering her guests would either be her family or A-list celebrities. She invested $12.5 million in the townhouse and she decorated it to fit her taste. Taylor must really love Tribeca because she still has one more property in this area too. Number 4. Tribeca Penthouse The penthouse Taylor acquired is forever off-market. She got the penthouse in 2018 from Jeremy Phillips who got $9.75 million for the home. The penthouse is a performance suite for Taylor, as well as where she sometimes holds small parties for her and her friends. The look from the penthouse's wall to ceiling windows is as truly breathtaking as it sounds. Can you imagine listening to Taylor's wildest dreams while sipping a glass of fine wine overlooking the city from this stunning penthouse? I bet Taylor can. Number 3. Beverly Hills Mansion Taylor doesn't joke with luxury, that's for sure. What's also interesting is that she owns a home that lets her be close to some of her friends, and that is the historic Beverly Hills Mansion mansion she acquired for $30 million. This mansion was formerly owned by Hollywood film producer Samuel Goldwyn. The mansion was built in 1934 and had all the makings of old Hollywood that we know and love. Taylor's breath of fresh air combines the decades of stories in this mansion to give a whole new concept of living. The mansion has 10 bedrooms and is currently under renovation. But you can imagine that with Taylor's overall creativity, we should be expecting an even better version of the place. Number 2. Legs of Gold the Swifties idol is really tall, and she doesn't joke with her legs. Besides having the most beautifully structured pair of legs, she has incredible balance. And Lord knows you really need to have strong legs to perform as long and amazingly as Taylor does it. She knows this fact as well, which is why Taylor's legs are worth $40 million in terms of insurance. Anything can happen, and her career could take huge damage if anything were to happen to her legs. Injured legs means no performances, which is why her legs are worth more than a small company. If it is astronomically important to her career, why not? And number one, private jet. Considering the fact that Taylor is always traveling, it just makes sense that she invests in really good air transportation. What is crazy, however, is that she owns two Dassault Falcon jets. These big boys are nowhere cheap as each costs $45 million. The jets are designed with Taylor's lucky number, 13, on their tails, which is just a hint to show you that Taylor is superstitious. Honestly, if you have achieved this much, it is quite understandable. One Dassault Falcon jet can comfortably transport 12 people and has its own luxurious interior. The jet has private lounge areas, a fully functional bathroom, and a dining area. And now, a notable mention, philanthropic work. Taylor believes that everyone should be allowed a good chance at trying out what they love. When it comes to music, Taylor has left good marks in the industry, which includes a monetary donation of $4 million to the Music Hall of Fame and Museum. She also gave everyone in Nashville a chance to learn music at the Taylor Swift Educational Center.
Center. The Institute has video labs, classrooms, music rooms, art installations, and educational tours. It is no surprise that Forbes named Taylor the highest paid celebrity in 2019 when she earned more than $180 million, which passed Kylie Jenner by $15 million. Cancel culture has nothing on this icon. Hey, despite cancel culture, who doesn't want to be Taylor? Someone many people have tried to cancel out of life completely, however, is Vladimir Putin. And we have a thrilling video on how the Russian president escaped assassination 43 times. Check it out here, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.